Hi guys, if you watched my recent holiday videos where I put several kits together while we were waiting for the rain to stop, I did this one, which probably wasn't a good choice, a solar toy when it was rainy conditions, but we did have a, enough sun to actually demonstrate it working. I put together the gearbox, which is common to all of them. It's this bit here, or motor and gearbox to be exact. And I also made the solar puppy and the solar car. I have made all of these in the past, over the years, but I was given these kits uh, by my brother-in-law. So I thought I'd do them again. And I've had a few questions on them recently anyway. So, in the box, we should have, yeah, so that's the motor and gearbox assembly. That's the solar panel. And then the other bits were the bits that made it into a car. So, there we are. That's the motor and gearbox. It's just a, a little cordless motor with a pinion gear on it and then there's a gear on that shaft that it turns. I don't know what the number of teeth are so I couldn't tell you exactly what the ratio is but it does mean that the small motor doesn't need too much power to actually spin the shaft. So next thing is which one of these will we do next? Um, doesn't really matter. In fact, that one my grandson did quite a while ago. And there it is. That one works fine. In fact, it might even run off these light bulbs that I've got here. If I just bring that down enough, just. I spent a bit of time in the previous videos explaining that these really are solar powered toys. They don't run very well off indoor lighting. So there's not a lot of point in me remaking that one because it's the same thing. It's just a solar panel in this little boat shape on a couple of the dog legs to hold it up high enough and uh, one of the propeller blades on it. So that's pretty simple. I actually added that on the bottom just so we could steer it and make it go around in circles. In fact, just looking at the picture, it's actually supposed to be the opposite way around the motor with the propeller going on that end. I suppose I could just turn it round for demonstration purposes. Take the propeller off. So that would be the correct way round. So it looks the same as the picture. So I won't bother to remake that one. Um, and that one, let's be honest, that's exactly the same thing with the boat hole turned up the other way. Solar plane, yeah, that's not going to fly anywhere, is it? So that really just leaves these two to make. Um, let's have a look. So we do need the boat hole. Home, I can use a knife. Makes life a bit easier. So 
Oh, I suppose I could just make that one just for completion. So it's one of them. It looks like, like I said, one of these dog legs. That goes on there. I could use the instructions, couldn't I? That'd be a bit of a novelty. That sits on there. That hole goes on there. Like that. That looks like they've got probably it's probably that piece. Let's have a look at the instructions. Solar plane. So. It's that propeller. There's two different ones. There's one sort of a square shaped one, this one. Again, one thing I explained on the on the holiday was you do need to try and tidy up the flashing from the moulding because in many cases it will actually jam uh, the shaft so they don't spin freely. Okay so that goes on there we do need that piece which is going to go up under there I don't know where that's come from. Uh, oh, I know, it's probably magnetic. It's probably stuck to some other stuff that we've been using. So that's got to go under there somehow. Okay. Well, it does show a little fin going up the back. Piece there, that's going to go on there, that doesn't want to. How about the other way around? Oh, it is on there, okay. And then these bits are obviously going to have to come up onto there. I should have done that earlier. They need to go in there. You can sometimes push them in with a knife blade. It's just a spring that they go inside. Go on. It doesn't want to go in. Side, that one on the other side. Should have left them where they were, shouldn't I? Right, that's in. Put it back on there where it's just fallen off. And there. Oh, that wire's falling out of there. And that's back in. back on. It has got a little keyway on it so it goes the right way round. And then there we go. 
But they've got a cheat calling that a plane, a solar plane. So, done it. We've crossed that off the list then. So we've done that one, that one, and that one. And I'm saying the grandson's already done that one. So I'll take that off there again and we'll make one of these two. I'll do that in the next episode. We'll do another episode. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.